Hi, my name is Mirabel Ilume and welcome to another video. So you guys have asked a lot of questions about the mini stepper that I walk on and uh, you wanted to know how long I walk on the mini stepper, how many minutes I do work out on the mini stepper and uh, how often do I work out on the mini stepper. And I think I've answered this question before but I'll try to answer it again uh, on this video because uh, it keeps reoccurring, keeps coming up. It means that there's a new people asking the questions again. Thank you so much for the newcomers but I'll answer it again because hey, I'm here to answer those questions. So I do between an hour 30 minutes and two hours. A lot of people say their steppers require them to only do 15 minutes which is okay that 15 minutes doesn't mean that you can do up to an hour so when you're on a stepper for 15 minutes and it starts getting hot it means you should stop and let it cool off for five minutes and then you get back on while it's cooling off you can do other exercises you can be uh, lifting weights using your dumbbells keeping a rope and that's why i have all these other little exercises that are at around my workout it is exercise but 80 percent of the time what I do is on the mini stepper. It's easier for me, it works my whole body, and I do get the workout in that I need. So majority of the time, I will use the mini stepper as my workout too. So if your steppers, if your stepper's instruction is that you only do 15 minutes, don't go above that 15 minutes and then let it heat up. Because there are different brands and different instructions on different steppers. So if he else says you should only do 15 minutes at a time, it means you should do 15 minutes, then you get off the stepper and cool up, let it cool off while you're walking out something else, you're doing something else with your body, you're skipping rope, you're uh, doing a push-up, you're lifting weight, whatever other exercises you like to include in your workout exercise, that's when you're doing it and then you can go right back into it for another 15 minutes and let it cool off until you clock the number of minutes you want to work out on your mini stepper. So for the mini stepper, I do between an hour, 30 minutes, and one hour. And I have shown you on most of the videos how I do it, what I do, and uh, the number of minutes, the more number of uh, times I do work on them. Often, I will go for five to six days a week. I always like to take a day off to actually rest uh, let my body cool off as well and uh, do other things but on a regular basis if I am not too busy or I don't have any other things holding me in I will go through the week and uh, just work out as often as I want uh, like you can see I have it uh, right here so at any time that I step out I can actually step on it and it, and it helps me to relax it has actually been part of my life now because I just I just step on it at any time and but I actually work out in the mornings when I get up in the morning uh, that's one of the first things that I do in the morning I do work out on the mini stepper the other question was on my diet and there uh, you guys have asked on how, what I eat and how I was able to lose weight and on eating habits I've answered this question before and I think a lot of people got offended by the response but that's the truth about it and uh, I will still answer it again because it's what I did. I didn't change my diet, I didn't change what I was eating, but I kind of portioned what I eat. I did um, a four portioning eating method. So every time I thought of eating something, I would divide that uh, thing or that food item into four portions and eat one. One of those portions will be okay for me and then I'll fill up maybe with water or with uh, some nuts. I would, I would eat any of the, uh, well, almond was my favorite. I eat a lot of almond and I eat a lot of pistachios. So those are the things that I snack on most of the time. And I would definitely eat um, an apple, mostly in the mornings. I would prefer uh, fruits in the mornings because uh, fruits have a lot of sugar and they Later in the evening, you might instead gain weight eating fruits. So I prefer eating my fruits in the mornings. And um, I drink water regularly. I, am, I will not tell you that I drink a lot of water, but I do drink water regularly and I avoid soda. For sodas, I completely cut out sodas. Sodas and uh, beers and 
uh, all of those things are not part of things that I do so I think it helps to actually help you lose weight because um, from what I read a lot of those uh, alcoholic drinks and their um, let me say uh, uh, and sodas are going to in increase your weight so I avoided a lot of those so I'm just going to do a simple workout on the mini stepper before I end this live because it was mainly to answer some of those questions on how many minutes I actually do my workout, how many minutes I actually stay on the mini stepper and uh, what part of the bodies I work out on. I'll answer them on different videos as we keep going on. I can't give all the answers on one video. It's difficult because we have different needs and different things to answer on. So I will answer different questions on different videos. I'll try to do just a, a, a waistline workout now and my lower body and that will be it for this video. So I'm going to get on the mini stepper. I have one right here, which is right here. And that's the one I'm going to work on right now. Usually I like to start slow. And for those who are beginners, I always insist, if you're a beginner, make sure you go slow. A lot of people have this tendency of doing this when they start. I can't even do that because this is hard. I mean, you want to you want to go really faster because you think that that's how you're going to get the workout in. Take it slow. Go slower. Get your body into a rhythm that is going to be more fun for you. The more fun you feel on this, the more workouts you're going to be enjoying on it. It looks awkward sometimes. It looks fun sometimes. But just keep. I mean, just be relaxed. And do what makes you feel most comfortable on it. So what I'm doing right now is just putting a little more work on my legs. And I'm going to do that for one minute. I usually like to rotate. I like to rotate different movements in one minute. So that way I don't feel a lot of pain on one angle. So if I, if I start working my leg and I feel like I need to change the mood, I will definitely do that for one minute, then I will change into another mood. So right now, I'm going to do just my leg. I think there's something on the screen. Let me get this off and get back on my legs. Sorry about that. So I'm going to do just my leg. On this one, I'm going to be on my legs. I'm pushing on my legs more and getting it in. Like I said, be slow about it. Make it slow, make it fun and you enjoy doing it more often. Once you get your legs in, try to give your waistline some movement. And once you get your waistline in, and give it some movement, it makes it more fun, and you want to keep doing it. You want to add your upper body into it. You want to do other parts of your body, and you're still on the mini stepper. It gives you a lot of workout, and it makes you feel more like you've had a full body workout, uh, you've had fun doing it and you actually burn a lot of calories. I mean That's just what I do to be able to maintain My weight and lose the weight that I did lose. So see you on the next video. Keep your questions um, In the comment section if you are new, please keep the subscribe button God bless you all stay safe stay blessed stay positive be the best versions of yourselves See you on the next video and bye-bye.